Hello everybody and welcome to another weekly reading vlog. It is currently 20 to 3 on the afternoon of Sunday the 6th of February 2022. I'm having a bit of a productive day, um, or trying to, I'm also hungover. Um, and I'm reading Ash by James Herbert, I'm about 200 pages from the end of that. Finish that soonish and then I'm probably going to read Daryl by Jackie S. And that is where I'm at, so let's get further into the vlog when I have more stuff to tell you. Dane reads. Yo, greetings, I should turn the light on. It is um, 7 p.m. on Monday the 7th of February. Um, I slept all right, I went to bed at like 7 p.m. yesterday and woke up about 8 a.m. today. Had a good old long sleep, because I, uh, I was hungover and tired. I'm still reading Ash by James Herbert. Um, I should finish it very soon. I got like 80 pages to go or something. So there is that, and then I'm gonna pick up Daryl by Jackie S. Um, I've had two of my four calls that I have scheduled today. So I've got another one at eight, another one at nine. Um, so yes, that is all fun. Um, but I'm, I'm doing all right in terms of my productivity and things like that, so I'm just kind of cracking on with that. I've just had East of Eden on. I'm watching The Last Legion, I think it's called, some terrible sword and sorcery movie. It's not very good at all. That kid from Love Actually who's got the very punchable face, he's in it. Um, oh, and I heard from my doctors today as well, So, because I'm running out of medication, so they sent me some more meds. Um, but they're also going to do some blood tests on me, um, just to check I'm okay, basically. So. Um, they're going to look out for deficiencies in iron, vitamin B12, um, potassium, because my meds can cause potassium deficiency, um, and a few other bits and bobs, so I need to go and book my blood test in. And that's pretty much all I've got for you, to be honest. I need to edit a radio show soon, because it's radio time tomorrow. I mean, on the plus side, you know, getting through all these calls, in fact, I can tick another one off, you see. Tick another one off. You're pinging at me. I don't even care, mate. I don't even care. KX10 at 5 p.m. Yeah, that's done. The next one is next Monday. Although I do have one like Thursday-ish. Okay, so yeah. After these two calls, my four calls today, I haven't. I only have one on Thursday. Everything's pinging at me now. So yeah, I'm going to go crack on with some work. Do my calls. Maybe do some editing if I get a chance. And maybe do some filming as well. I don't have too much to film. Uh, let's see. Two radio shows and my review of Ash by James Herbert. It's nothing, mate. It's nothing. Cool. I made a huge amount of pasta. I think it's about a kilogram in there. That is the size of it. Oh, it's hot as well. Mm -hmm. Hello, everybody. It is 22.10 on a Tuesday, the 8th of February. Uh, I had a client call earlier, which seemed to go okay. Um, kind of came out of nowhere, to be honest. It wasn't booked until like 1 p.m. It was actually, I went to my friend Juliet's house earlier to drop off some fabric because she's making me a new set of curtains for the kitchen. And I got a notification on my phone about it while I was on my way back. Um, but yeah, it was okay. Uh, I have some books to update you on. I'm just thinking if there's anything else. Uh, Sabrina popped over while I was in my call just to... Uh, she gave me... Oh, I've got it over here. She gave me one of these. A Nomo No Missing Out Bunny. Creamy chocolate with a cookie dough flavour centre. It was good. So she gave me this. Um, just popped it through the letterbox. So I didn't actually see it, but it was nice to nom that when I got off my call. Uh, Sleep-wise, I went to bed at like 4am. Well, I went to bed at like 2am yesterday. And... Just didn't sleep till about 4 or 5 a.m. So there's that. And yes, um, so I read, well I finished reading Ash by James Herbert. That was probably a 3.5 out of 5. It was just all right. Full review coming soon. Then I read Cast Noisette by Claude Clement and Frederico Combi. This is um, a Bon Dessinée. Well, it's not actually, it's just a novel. It's a kid's book. Um, photos and text and stuff uh, in French. And it is The Nutcracker. Um, I don't really know the story of the Nutcracker, so I followed it as best as I could, but I did find it a little, it was a little bit harder going than um, the Asterix books that I've been reading, but I think I followed most of the story. And anyway, in a way, I'm just trying to improve my um, vocabulary more than anything. Oh, look at this. That's good. That's better. All right. Um, so, I read that. 
Oh, that was a bedtimey book. I'm still reading Stephen Guy's Complete and Utter Guide to Classical Music or whatever as my uh, main bedtime book. Then I read No One Is Too Small To Make A Difference by Greta Thunberg. Um, I guess I'll be doing a review of this. I didn't tab too much, but it is a small book. This is basically some of her different speeches. And that really is the main problem with it, is that she, she'll she reuse parts of her speeches verbatim at a different event, which is what speakers do. Like, that's just standard practice, that's fine. But then when you print them in a book, then it's like, yeah, you've used this exact paragraph three times throughout this book. <clears throat> Um, but that was the main problem with it. I mean, obviously, I'm pretty much in agreement with what she's saying. So, yeah, probably like, probably a 3.5 out of 5. Um, but yeah, it was, it was interesting. Then I read Carol Ann Duffy, The World's Wife. So this is a bunch of poems. Um, and it basically like gender swaps a bunch of people or looks at what the wives of people. So um, Darwin's wife, for example, she saw a monkey in a zoo and said, that reminds me of you. That was a little poem. Um, let me see if I can find that. No, I can't, I can't. I can't be asked to find it though. It was a very short. Oh, here it is, Mrs. Z Mrs. Darwin, seventh of April, eighteen fifty-two, went to the zoo. I said to him, something about that chimpanzee over there reminds me of you. Fun. So yeah, it was like three point five out of five. Um, I was expecting to like it more than I did, to be honest. But I mean, it wasn't awful. It was just okay. And I'm now reading Inside In the Heart of the Amazon Forest by Walter Henry Bates, um, which is this little penguin edition. Um, basically, I've just been going through the shorter books that I picked up in the charity shop just so that I can reduce my TBR again back down to roughly where it was before. I think this probably puts me on about 15 or so, which isn't too bad. Um, and so after this, I'm going to read Daryl by Jackie S. And then I guess Rosemary's Baby by Ira Levin. We'll see. Oh... Am I in? I'm in. I'm in focus. Hello, it is 5 to 5 on Wednesday the 9th of February 2022. I was supposed to get paid today and apparently didn't. I wonder what that is. Let me have a quick look. Maybe I have since been paid. It rec right, so Upwork's saying it sent me money. So I just need to see whether they actually did. Um, because I could use some money. I'm a little bit skint, not gonna lie. Um, no, it still hasn't arrived. I guess it'll arrive tomorrow. Um, but yeah, the stock market is up, so that's good. My shares are doing well. Um, and I've got a bunch of stuff that I, I bought some stuff recently, because basically my rent at the start of this month, that took me out of my maximum overdraft. Um, and so, I managed to borrow some money from my mum and then pay that back and all of that shit. Um, and I have since been paid by a bunch of clients, so now I almost have enough for like when my next rent goes out, I guess. Um, but also I need to buy some more stuff, because I've been out in the garden today, been doing some gardening work, because the weather's been all right. It's currently 12 degrees, so it's not like boiling hot, but it's above freezing anyway. So, and you're, you're meant to wait until the last freeze has happened. There is every chance that it will freeze again. Um, but I've also put some mulch down to protect things. It's all very exciting stuff. Um, but yeah, I need to order some more compost. I've got some more plants I want to order. What else is on my list? Some more solar lights, some more vapes, some more water filters for my Brita filter, a new shower curtain, a new curtain for the kitchen. And then that just leaves me a new oven, which I can't do yet anyway. A new bench for outside, which is going to be expensive. A new barbecue, which is going to be reasonably expensive. New desks for in here, which are going to be reasonably expensive. And a vegan camp out ticket, which is about 70 odd quid. But I don't know if I'm going to go, because my friend was going to go with me, my friend Greg. Um, and he has a stag weekend that weekend. Sabrina said she might be up for it, but it depends. So I need to check in with her, see if she fancies it. There's also a Facebook group for the vegan camp out lonely, so people are going to this, it's like a festival. Lots of vegan like speakers and stuff, and then some music, uh, and lots of vegan food vans as well. Um, and it's £70 as opposed to Glastonbury, which is 285 this year, which is a lot. <laughs> so, and I, w I would like to go to a festival, so I might, um, I might get a ticket and just fuck it and just go along and meet some new people while I'm there, could be nice. Um, I went to the doctors and the pharmacy today to pick up some medications and shit, so that was alright, did that, dropped some stuff off into town. Um, and now I'm currently sitting here watching Enemy Lines, which is a World War II movie, I think, well, I assume World War II. 
It's hard to tell, we're fighting the Germans, but I mean... <laughs> uh, yes, so that's where I'm at. I've also downloaded to watch Mike Bassett, England Manager, which is an old film from 2001. But it's just quite funny. It's like a satir satirical documentary. Um, my main remain thing that reminds me about that is the guy who is the England manager. He writes down the players he wants on the back of a cigarette packet, and he accidentally ends up with two players in his squad called Benson and Hedges. So it's that that kind of humour. Uh, I should probably shave, actually. I've been reading through some more of these books I got in the charity shops. So I finished The World's Wife by Carol Ann Duffy. That was like a 3.5 out of 5. Interesting poetry, some interesting concepts in there. Uh, and it's free verse, which I'm always a fan of. And I've been reading In the Heart of the Amazon Forest by Walter Henry Bates, which is basically travel writing from about 18, was it, 1859. Um, from him going around the, the Amazon Forest. So I've been enjoying that. And then after this, I'm going to finally pick up Daryl by Jackie S., Followed probably by Rosemary's Baby by Ira Levin, then probably Pam Ayres, um, then um, John Williams, then Richard Osman, and then I'm back down to only having a couple books left. So I don't know what I'm currently on reading wise, I think I'm on about 15 books, something like that. Um, Oh, and I have these Mr. Men books that arrived as well, so I need to look at those. So that's where I'm at reading-wise. Um, radio show went out okay yesterday. No calls today. I do have one tomorrow at 12 noon, which could be a problem because I didn't get up until half past one in the afternoon today. Um, it should be fine. It just it might be one of those where I wake up and then do the call and go back to bed. Uh, but I've actually reached out to Emma Rosen um, and offered to pay her just like a nominal sum. Um, of Emma Rosen books here on booktube because this call at noon is with somebody who's publishing some children's books and they want some advice on marketing them um, so um, yeah I thought Emma would be a good person to ask for that so I've reached out to her to ask for some feedback I guess it's just spreading the love I mean I get I get paid $50 an hour by this client and the call is an hour long and I'm probably paying Emma like $15 <laughs> so you know, if you're getting a little, little nice li little li lick of the commission there, um, and I don't mind, like, theoretically, really, the client should be paying Emma, but it wasn't worth the hassle being like, can I have $15 to pay my friend? So I was just like, oh, I'll just give her some money, um, just to, you know, compensate for her time. So that is all good. And that's where I'm at. I don't think I have anything else for you. I'm going to do some editing. I've had some vlogs, reading vlogs go out recently because I managed to finish editing those. So that's been very exciting. And I think I'm just going to edit some more reading vlogs, to be honest, and do some more work and watch some more of this behind enemy lines. Oh, it's um, quarter past 10 on Thursday, the 10th of February. I spent a lot of time outside today, actually. Um, just been working on some of the, um, well, I swept the back garden most of the front uh, I planted some basil moved my garlic outside uh, what else did I do I planted some more garlic to go in the greenhouse uh, did I do anything else I think I did I did some painting of like some window sills but I painted them this blue colour and I don't like it so I'm going to go back to well they were like sort of a slate red so I'm going to go back to red because red is my colour um, but I did also actually, I met the lady who owns the upstairs building, not who lives there, but who owns it. And I got permission from her to paint uh, the fence panels along the one side. I still need to talk to the guy who owns the the house next to us, because he owns the dividing fence. So I need his permission to paint that fence. Um, but we're one step closer now. So I've got the person who owns the other half of the my garden, essentially. Got their permission. I got the guy because he technically still owns the land, so I got his permission. So I just need the guy next door, but he might be hard to track down. And to be honest, I might just paint it. Also, the lady who owned upstairs said he's supposed to be doing a new fence anyway. <laughs> so there is also that. It's worth me talking to him just in case I spend all this time fucking painting the fence, and then he's just like, "Yeah, I'm just gonna put a new fence up." So we'll see. Um, but yeah, so I did all that. What else did I do? What else did I do, Biggie? Biggie's over there. Oh, I got a new rug. That black rug. So that's a camouflage rug for Biggie. I've also, you can't see it at the moment because I've taken it down because I'm adding it back up. But I got a pull-up bar. Um, so I've kind of, you can just see, where are we? You see up there, look, that's one of the things it hooks into. And then there's one on the other side. So I hooked it in with just the one screw and tested it and it, it didn't fall down. So that's good. 
that gives me a lot of faith in the fact that once I have four screws in as opposed to one screw, if it didn't fall down with one screw on each side, it's definitely not going to fall down with four screws on each side, which means then I can move those pillows away and not do pull-ups with pillows beneath me in case it falls down. Not that I'm particularly strong, but you know, I'm just trying to get a bit fit. I walked into town um, and I've been doing a bit of my jogging as well. Uh, me and my friend Joe are getting quite competitive with our Fitbits on like step counts, so it's been good to try and take her down. I uh, had a call at noon with a lady who's writing um, children's books, um, so gave us some advice on that. Um, and that's what Emma from Emma Rose and Books on Booktube, she helped me out with. Um, and I got some really nice feedback, so I got this message, what was it? Um, they said... Doo -doo -doo. Dane, thanks a million for meeting with Beth. She sent me an email to say that you're exactly what she needed and got so much out of the call. Boom. Yeah. Thank you, Emma, basically. Now, I think it was my ideas and Emma's ideas coupled together, really, and then I sent them over to her as notes. Um, then there was a Q&A as well at 7, 7 to 8 p.m., so I joined in on that, because why not? That was good. And... Um, what else have I been doing? Worky bits. I'm currently watching World Trade Center uh, with Kevin Spacey. No, not Kevin Spacey. Fucking Nicolas Cage. I don't know where I got Kevin Spacey from. I don't know how I got those confused. Um, and I watched Foot Fall of the Craze earlier, so that was good. Watch a bit of YouTube. I've just got some shit in my eye. Oh, God. Oh, I've been eat It's because I was eating Doritos with salsa, and I think I just got dried Dorito and or salsa in my eye. What else is new? I think I think that's mostly it. Oh, I, I hung a dream catcher up above my bed earlier as well, so that was nice. And I think that's about it. I'm going to do a bit of filming now. Um, so I've got vlog to do, wrap up to do, um, finish off my Daryl review, which I've, I've almost finished reading Daryl. So um, yeah, and then haul. Oh, that's it. Charlie sent me some books as well. Charlie Charles Heathcote sent me some French books. So I've got to bring those up from downstairs and do the haul for those. Uh, as I say, I'm literally like 10 pages from the end of Daryl. And next up, I'm going to read uh, Rosemary's Baby by Ira Levin. And then I read these uh, Mr. Men books. Oh, Daryl, by the way, is 4.5 out of 5. Very good. Um, that and Alias Grace are the two standout books that I've read so far this year that are like way above whatever's next. What is next? So I did start, let's have a little cheeky look. I did start looking at my year favourites. So, oh, then Billy Summers by Stephen King. Yeah, and then The Card Turner by Louis Sackart. And then we've literally just got some of the Brian Herbert and Kevin J. Anderson Dune books. Um, but yeah, I read these Roger Hargreaves, Mr. Men books. One of the funny things is, is I know it's on the copyright pages. All the copyright pages are wrong. So this one... Um, this is Little Miss Lucky and the Naughty Pixies, and the inside it says Little Miss Naughty and the Good Fairy. Um, which I have also read, I think. I can't remember. Anyway, these are all like 3.5 out of 5. They're okay. Uh, so I read Little Miss Lucky and the Naughty Pixies. Little Miss Sunshine and the Wicked Witch. Mr. Men, A White Christmas. And Mr. Nosy and the Beanstalk. So I think that's me pretty much all up to date. So I'm going to love you and leave you and go and film some other little bits. Am I in focus? Hello, it's me, yeah boy. Um, it's currently 25 to 9 on Friday the 11th of February. Um, the Art Centre open mic is like currently happening at the moment, but I'm not going for reasons. Well, I don't work there anymore, and it, it might be a little bit awkward. So I'll probably go to the next one. Um, also, I hate this particular one because, so two years ago, um, I'd just broken up with the girl I was dating at the time and I knew her through the art center and the first event after we broke up was the open mic night on Valentine's Day and we were both there and it was just depressing as fuck so I thought I'm not I'm not gonna go especially because I imagine a lot of people will be doing like Valentine's Eve love songs and stuff tonight and I'm not a big love song kind of person so uh, there's that and also just it'd be a bit awkward in general um, and I've, as always I've got loads of work on so I'm just sitting here doing some work instead um, 
I did a little bit more in the garden earlier. I cleaned some of the borders. Um, I've ordered some compost and some plants to go out there as well, so that's very exciting. I got the paint I needed for the um, fences. I did try and ask for permission for the because there's some building work going over in the place next to me and it's that property that owns the dividing fence so I need to ask them for permission to paint it but I tried to ask the guy and he just didn't speak any English so I'm just gonna use that as my excuse and be like well I thought that's what he meant because he did say yes a few times it's just he clearly didn't know what he was saying yes to he was just trying to get rid of me so I'll just say well he said yes you know if, if it comes to that I don't think it should matter because theoretically anyway it's only gonna be it's only gonna be on my side of the fence so they're not even gonna see it on their side so it shouldn't affect them you know um, what else have I been doing that's about it I got up at like 4 p.m. so <laughs> um, I got a bunch of mr. men books in the post today which I'm gonna read next so it it expect a bunch of mr. men books to appear in my next vlog update um, and I'm also reading Rosemary's Baby by Ira Levin, which is very good. It's probably like, it's a strong four out of five so far. We'll see how the second half goes. Um, but yeah, it's quite good. Fairly well written. Lots to talk about, so I'm going to be doing a review of that as well. Um, I think that's it. So after the Ira Levin, I'm going to read um, these Mr. Men books. And then I guess I will either go for Pam Ayres. I just heard someone shout, oh, for fuck's sake. Or, well, I guess that means they don't want me to read Pam Ayres, so we'll go for Butcher's Crossing by John Williams, I guess. I'll also probably hit halfway on uh, East of Eden by John Steinbeck, because I'm listening to the audiobook. It's like 24, 25 hours long, and I have it in just two 13-hour files. And I think I have about half an, an hour and a half left, excuse me, about an hour and a half left of that first of the two files. So I'm going to do that later, I'll do a bit of jogging. You can see my pull-up bars up there now. Oh, pull-ups are hard, man. I can only do two at a time. And my goal is to do five a day. Yeah, ambitious. Greetings. It is 20 to 9 on Saturday the 12th of February. I'm apparently on low battery. Good job I have another one charged. Um, I have been... Mostly watching YouTube today, um, I watched somebody play um, Super Star Wars on the SNES, uh, which I used to have back in the day, so it was fun to watch him do that. Uh, there's one particular level on it that he really struggled with, which I felt good about, because I really struggled with that level as well. Biggie's been a meowie boo, haven't you Biggie? He's been meowie. He's down there somewhere, where is he? There he is. A meowie boy. Uh, I got outside earlier, so I you can see from the shit on my hands and my paint. Um, I painted, uh, I whitewashed the out. Ow, you fucking cunt! What was that for? You dickhead! You just bit my arm. Um, yeah, I whitewashed the walls, um, so I did that. I swept the front car park. And I did most of what I can do on the border to the one side. I'm going to plant some um, like little mini coniferous trees there. Um, I also need some more bark to put bark out over it. So that's going to be happening eventually. Um, so I've got to water that. Uh, yeah, I'm feeling a bit down. You can probably tell by the way I'm talking. I don't know. I can always tell from the way I talk when I'm not in a particularly happy mood. So I have some strawberries and cream English cider, which I'm going to drink. Um... It's be I guess it's because I've got a bit like FOMO because there's a gig happening at the Art Centre. I am back now with more battery. Yes, yeah, so there's a gig at the Art Centre. Uh, Sabrina's going. Probably some of my other friends are going as well. And it's a band that I would quite like to have seen. Um, but I'm just trying to limit expenses at the moment. And obviously gig tickets and then beer. That's money I could be spending on my chipping for my garden, you know. Um, but also, it's just... I'm staying clear of the art centre at the moment until they sort of settle into life without me working for them so that then they won't expect me to, to go. Like, I don't want to go and pay money to go in and spend the entire evening just explaining how to do shit, you know? Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's all right. I'm, I'm just, as I say, I'm sitting here watching YouTube. I've just done a bit of jogging, uh, listening to East of Eden. I finished reading Rosemary's Baby. That was like a pretty solid four out of five. Uh, I like the ending in particular. That was good. Full review of that coming soon. Um, I'm currently reading uh, The Necessary Aptitude by Pam Ayres. So this is a memoir. She's a poet. Um, 
Uh, I'm only like 40 pages in, so I'm about 10% of the way in, but again, I'm enjoying it so far. Uh, I will be reviewing that as well, because I've started to tab it out. And then I read a bunch more of the Little Mr. Men and Mr. Men Little Miss books by Roger Hargreaves. So I read Little Miss Bossy, Mr. Dizzy, Mr. Clever, Mr. Men Meet Father Christmas, Mr. Cheerful, Mr. Uppity, and Mr. Good. So those are that's me all up to date with the latest ones of those that I that I have uh, ready to read and whatnot. I'm slowly working through the series. I am enjoying that Pam Ayers book, and then I guess next up I'll probably go Butcher's Crossing by John Williams. Yeah, probably. And then the Thursday Murder Club by Richard Osman. That's that's looking like the route we're going to take. I got a book in the post. I've ordered the next. Um, What's it? The next Wizard of Oz book, because as of Monday, Joel and I are on to the next book in the series, Joel Swagman, um, as part of our buddy read. But they accidentally sent me the wrong book, so I'm kind of in negotiations with them to be like, what are you going to do? Are you going to send me the actual book? What, you know? So, fucking hell, Cat just jumped up, scared me, I thought it was going for me again. So that's where I'm at, and I'm just going to go back to work. It is a bit bleak at the moment, because all I'm doing is work. But, you know, such is life, such is life. It's just a bit lonely, I never see anybody, but also I sort of don't really want to see anybody. I'm just in a bit of a, bit of a funk, you know? So yeah, off to do some more work. Hello everybody, it is currently t five past ten on Sunday the 13th of February. That's my friend Sabina's birthday today, so I said happy birthday to her earlier. Well, I said actually congratulations on getting a year closer to death. Um, it's been raining all day here, so I didn't really do much garden stuff. I did a bit. I chipped up some of the paint that had gone everywhere. Painted, uh, planted some rhubarb. Did a few other like little tiny bits and bobs. Um, I've also ordered some new stuff, so I've got a new barbecue coming and a new outside bench. Uh, so that means now I am skint, but also the only things on my wish list that I want to buy, uh, I need to pay somebody to come in and sort my windows out because they've like got con condensation on the inside. I need to get a new plug socket fitted in the kitchen um, so that I can get an electric oven at some point, and then I need to buy the oven as well. Um, and I want to get a ticket for the vegan camp out as well, but other than that, everything's ordered and whatnot. Got a bunch of plants on the way, 240 litres of compost, 200 litres worth of wood chippings. So once that's all arrived, I can kind of finalise the work I'll have be doing in the garden. Um, and then it's just a case of, there are some more stuff, like bits that I want to buy throughout the year. Um, I'll have basically, everything now is, as of March, there's a bunch of stuff to plant. Same with April. Um, and then on the 1st of May, some sweet potatoes. So that's the plan. Um, yeah, that's pretty much where I'm at. Um, actually, if that's the case, then I can do, sorry, just talking to myself here, get rid of that. Um, so I need to do, yeah, I've still got some painting to do outside, but all the planting and whatnot will be done. Um, I'm still reading that uh, Pam Ayers book, The Necessary Aptitude, it's over there somewhere. Coming up to halfway through now, it's still pretty good. Um, I've watched this guy on YouTube play a couple of the Star Wars games on the SNES, which is a lot of fun, because I used to play them back in the day. Uh, so I've watched him complete Super Star Wars and Super Empire Strikes Back, so we have Return of the Jedi next. Uh, and I'm currently watching Mike Bassett, England Manager, which is just an old mockumentary film, um, which I'm really enjoying, actually. It's, it's been nice to uh, watch that again for the first time in uh, probably 15 years. Um, but I used to watch it quite a lot because I think I had it downloaded on a CD or taped off the TV or something. So, um, so yeah, that's basically what I'm doing. Um, I don't think I've got any more updates for you, really. Just being productive, carrying on with the housework and stuff. I've done um, done most of it, so that's good. Um, yeah. And that seems like a good place to love you and leave you. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button on this video if you've enjoyed it. Let me know in the comments which of these books you've read, if any, what you thought of them, all of that jazz. Hit that subscribe button for more and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.